Many students lately have asked me about have, they're having trouble reading greens, not sure how to read the greens. Well, the first thing when you start to read the green is you do it from your approach from the fairway. And the first thing you do is maybe when you're about eh, 30, 40, 50 yards in front of the green, just try to take a peek at the green and look at the left side and the right side, which side is higher, and then the front and the back. Usually the back of the green is higher than the front most of the time, okay? But check the left and the right, see which side is higher. That gives you your basic terrain breaks of the green. Then once you get on the green, then you look in the green to see if there's any mounds or mobiles, little, little subtleties to the green that is going to make your ball curve on its way to the hole. What I always like to do is make one walk around the putt starting on the high side first. So if the ball is breaking to the left, we would walk around the putt starting on the right side and then halfway back coming down on the low side have a look up the slope and just kind of pick a target as to which way you think the, uh, how much the ball is going to break. And just find a spot, kind of like spot bowling. Then go through your basic putting routine from behind the ball, relax, be calm. See the line to your spot, not the hole. So if the ball is breaking left, your spot's going to be to the right of the hole. Then we're going to align ourselves to the spot that we want the ball to travel to. Even though we know it's going to curve to the left, we're finding a spot on the right of the hole. That's going to be our alignment point. With level eyes, this is where golfers don't see distance well. They spend a lot of time looking at the ball, or when they're looking at the distance, they turn their head this way. And you don't see distance as well that way than if your eyes are fairly level. One way you can do this is stand behind your ball and make your practice strokes looking at the target in the distance that you want the ball to travel. Make your rehearsal strokes while you're looking at the distance that you want the ball to go. Or you can do it this way. Get up to your ball. I can putt left-handed, so it would look something like this. We're over the ball. We find our spot maybe 25 or 30 feet away, however far the distance this is going to go. And we get our eyes level flat. See the distance. Make our rehearsal strokes while we are looking at the distance. Step up to the ball. Eyes level. Give a good look at the target. Stare at it for a moment. Bring our eyes to the ball. And when our eyes return to the ball, let's go ahead and hit it now. Okay? That should help your distance control. If we spend our time looking at the ball, we're not seeing the distance. I hope everybody understands that. This will improve your short game quickly. You can apply the same principles for chipping also.